Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. For those that are new, consider hanging out to the end and everyone else. Welcome back to another video. In this case, we are playing Scrap Mechanic. Now, with Scrap Mechanic, it's a sandbox-like game where pretty much you can build almost anything you want, as you can see here. And it's a really fun game, and I quite enjoy it, especially when I have, you know, a couple hours to kill. Um, all I end up doing is just sitting here trying uh, various builds. In this case, I actually happened to find a... A build that was like a racetrack which is super cool but that's not necessarily why we're here the reason why we're here is because i thought of something that we can do and that is 15 minute builds 15 i need to make sure one five not five zero um because in my head it sounded like i just said 50 maybe i did anyways um today is going to be a random thing and the way that i did it is i found some random word generator and it was able to kind of give you ideas of what you're supposed to build and so anyways um, the two words, or rather the thing that we're trying to build in 15 minutes, is a bed telescope. Now, <laughs> I don't know how, one, if it's even possible in this game, and two, how it's going to look, but I got 15 minutes on the clock uh, to show you right here. I got good old timer. We're going to go ahead and hit start. So now it's official that this is 15 minutes from here, and uh, let's, let's, let's go. Let's get started. Okay, so as I was saying, we have 15 minutes to build, so um, luckily I remember there being a mattress and a pillow, so we'll use those as the base um, of the bed. Uh, telescope. Now, telescope, uh, I mean, it has, like, different glasses in it, and it has, like, lenses, so maybe we'll use that. And, uh, oh man, what else? I don't know. Uh, let's see, what about this table support for, uh, or, oh, this large pipe. How, how large is large? Oh, it's pretty big. Okay, so, first things first, let's grab a... A, uh, what is the, what is this considered? A lift. So we're going to need the lift because this is pretty much what everything is built upon. Now we're going to get some wood blocks because this needs to be, in my opinion, a working bed. And so we need to build a bed frame for this bed. I'm not 100% sure how big this mattress is. Okay, so there we go. So in my opinion, what we need to do first and foremost is get this all settled in a nice, like, bed frame. Like such. And then we're going to need to put, like, a backboard. And bed certification, <laughs> don't want to move, that's awesome. Okay, so, uh, this one needs to be a bit, a bit higher. Um, yeah, 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 okay. So that's fine, and then let's put, like, a bit of a bed board, like that, and then, uh, put something like that? What do we think? <laughs> We're almost two minutes in, and, and I'm just like, yeah, I guess that works. Um, okay, so if that's that, um, or would this be, like... More like a box spring. Let's see. Here I am, like, trying to be picky, and I don't think I have time to be picky. Uh, no, I don't like that. We're going to do it like this. Okay. And so the cool thing about this lift is since it's a lift, I can then lift this all up. And we're going to put some feet underneath it. So it'll probably be about that, because, you know, how else are you going to have a bed without feet? So let's go ahead and drop this, and then it will center it based off of what we just built. Perfect. And then we're going to want to put this here and that there. And get rid of this. Technically, I know like in some beds, it has like a fancy thing like that there. So it almost looks like a bunk bed. Uh, perfect. No, this is looking this is looking good, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, okay, so that being said, I wonder if I should put something like this. Like, you know, like some beds have like the foot bar. Um, no, I don't know why I'm getting picky. Anyways, I don't think I got time. Okay, so now let's see. Now this is a bed, is it functioning? Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's put a pillow down. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I guess this one might be a bit easier than I thought, which is uh, a bed. Uh, so now we need a telescope, but see, in my opinion, since this is scrap mechanic, we can do some really cool things with some gears and some cogs, and I think that's what I want to do. So let me just make a hole right here and put one of these screens in it. Um, no, come on. I don't know why I'm getting picky. There we go. Okay, so in my opinion, I should be able to sleep in my bed, but, and then with a push of a button, should be able to call over a telescope, and so I can look at the sky. So that's exactly what we're going to do with the 11 minutes or so we have left. Okay, so now we're going to need a wire tool, which is this, and we're not going to need that. We'll connect that to that, and then we're going to need some servos, or some bearings. Okay, now, that being said, I think we want to use... um. These pipe covers, I believe, is what we're going to want to use, and some long and short pipe. I, I'm just thinking. That's what's going to connect our uh, 
You know what? I'm just trying to think like off the top of my head. So that's going to go like that. And then what if we put one like that? And then one like that. Okay, so that gives us kind of like that movement. And we're going to need this. And oh, that's right. Since these are loose, they're just going to keep moving around. So this is going to be that. Um, You know what? As much as I like that, we probably want to build it like this out this way. Okay, so this is going to be the arm that hopefully will retract when we're done. Um, yeah, so we'll have it go 90 degrees, have this go up. Okay, now we need to build the, the telescope, in my opinion. Actually, no, no, no. no, no we're going to need a secondary arm like that. And then probably like this. Okay, now this is where we're going to build the telescope on is on this. So now let's see, um, uh, you know, isn't there like a T-junction, uh, you know, building this stuff, I'm usually really slow just to begin with, let alone having to build it under the pressure of time. Okay, so let's, there we go. So this will be the socket that the, there we go. Okay, so we need some glass and then we're going to need probably, uh, do we like that? No, that doesn't look right. Um, some ducting? Like, how big's duct? Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so you have the lens that you'd look in, and then you can look through that, which then uses this to, to look through another lens, and then it leads to that, and then um, it then curves up. Oh, man, is there, like, a duct? Oh, there is a duct angle. Okay, because telescopes, you know use mirrors and some use lights. So in this case, this one's going to use a bunch of glass and it's going to look straight up. Don't, don't do this in the day. Okay. And then we look through this, this little slot right here. Well, actually let me get the right piece. Like, no, 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 no. come on. I got to get the wiring done. Uh, like there. Okay. So that's what you look through and then you can look up at the sky. <laughs> Okay, okay, good. Here we, have, we have some time left. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's wire everything up. So this is going to be one. We want two. We're going to need three. And come on, four. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take this off the lift. Um, is everything going to hold? It is because, oh, that's right, because I, I connected everything. So now here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure quite how we're going to want this um, to sit. So that's going to do that. Oh, and that actually doesn't look bad at all, because if you're laying down, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so we want that to go down once the the button's pressed. Now we're going to need... Which one? We need number two to go up and in. So number two needs to go, I think, this way. Uh, no? Nope, that is not the right way, is it? No, I think it is. And then we want... Uh, we want, <laughs> what is that one? Is that four? No, four is not the right way. We don't have enough points of movement. Oh, I don't think I can do it like this. Okay, so let's turn this off and it'll, it will reset. So turn it on. That will do that. Oh, then we need, no, we need two to come more down. That's what it is. Okay, so how about 180 degrees? That is definitely the wrong way. Okay, how about this way? There we go. Okay, so we can be laying down, if you will, and we'll be able to, oh, <laughs> Watch your head. Why isn't this working? Like, what, what, what changed? Oh, you know what? It could be this is way too far now. Uh, interesting. Oh, you know what? It's because it's moving at the same time. That's what I did. We're going to want this to... We want one to do its complete movement before two starts. Like that. Oh. Maybe we don't want two to turn. Unless we do if I mess that up and it changes. Okay. So when it's off, I think off is going to be the harder part. We want this, okay, uh, this to be like that. We're going to want it to fold up when it's on. When it's off, it should, we're going to want two to turn that way. Oh gosh, look at the force it does it. Yeah, yeah. we want turn to two to turn that way. And then we're going to want, um, is that four, four to come down like that there we go so it'll fold on the side of our bed <laughs> like that and then if we turn it on it should okay because now that that we know that's what it's going to do we actually want 
before one turns, we want one to actually swing down, I think, this way now. Yeah, okay, so that's fine, but two needs to come down uh, like that after. Yeah, yeah, okay. But then, four needs to change before any one of these other things. So, four needs to go back to starting position, like right here, right? Okay, so then it turns on, four goes in, and then it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, so you can be laying down. You can then... Oh, no, but it's, it's the wrong direction now. Um, And then we want three to do a semi-turn. Oh, okay. Uh, Three needs to do a semi-turn with this, so... Is it a 75 degree angle? Okay, it is, but it's 90 and going this way. So that we can see, or, no, 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 is it 30 degrees? There we go. Okay, so imagine if you're laying down, you could look, oh, <laughs> you don't want to look that way. <laughs> oh, no, 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 okay. So I guess it has to be like that. Oh, what did I do? Oh, which one did I mess up? No, no, there we go, right? Okay, and then once we're done looking at the sky, it should go back and fold in. And so ideally, I wish I took this off. I don't have enough time, but we'll put that there. And then we would have had it wrapped around. But let's see. And all right, so now with the, the couple of minutes we have left, let's go ahead and let's get a paint gun. And let's make this look nice. Um, uh, paint gun. So what do we want? We want like fire truck red, bed frame. Uh, I wonder what color we should make the mattress. I wonder if we can make it, like, spray paint it white or something just so it looks like a clean mattress, like brand new mattress. What color should our instruments be? Okay, so there we go. And let's see, can we color that? Oh, look, now it looks, like, nice and clean. We're gonna want, like, a cool gray pillow. Uh, this color can all change for this stuff. We want a red telescope. Oh, we don't, probably don't want to color the glass. Uh, you know what, let's, let's get, like, a bright orange. Tele telescope like that and okay so when it's on it does that oh no 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 oh my gosh that's wrong that's it's way wrong that no which one needs to move is it three where's my wiring tool three needs to turn or four does okay so how about three? Oh no here i am getting all like oh no we got plenty of time okay so three's not moving uh, oh, because I'm not... Which one was I manipulating? Okay, three needs to go this way. Okay, except if we turn... No, 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 we need to turn the gear this way. It will then do that. Okay. Ooh, ooh, got me there for a second. So it should fold all back down and nicely on the side of our bed. And then when we lay down and we want to look up the sky, it will then fold out and let us do so. <laughs> That's so cool. Now, if we want to fine tune this, we actually can make this move at the same time the other one does. So you get like this fluid movement like that. Look at that. You wouldn't even know that it's moving in four different directions at the same time because we happen to have one and four and two and three moving at the same time, which gives us this like fluid movement. Oh, okay. So it looks like we actually were able to do that in time. I honestly wasn't quite sure if I, I gave myself enough time. But maybe in this case, since we finished two minutes early, we'll do kind of like what businesses do. In the event that you finish two minutes, you know, like if you come in under budget, they cut that budget. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, the office has a great, <laughs> a great uh, introduction into that you know the tv show so i guess that means next time instead of it being 15 minute builds it's gonna be 13 minute builds oh gosh okay so what do you guys think do you like this do you like this challenge do you like the, the you know kind of this concept would you want to see more of it all of that is up to you um i'll leave it down in the comments below hopefully you guys enjoy this because i thought this was a fun quick little video that i could produce you know almost daily if needed instead of just, you know, you guys waiting for other content in between. But it's all up to you guys. So if you like it, go ahead and let me know, uh, know down below. But until next time, guys, as always, keep it real.